let's go back to the application and go back to well I need to copy this name because I'm gonna I'm gonna work on the bar chart let's go back here and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so right below here I'm gonna create a new function so I'm gonna do private and I'm just gonna call it initialize uh, bar chart and it's not gonna take any parameters it's gonna return void open and close curly braces for the body so here what I want to do is to get a hold of that element so I'm gonna create a constant and I'm just gonna call it element well it's not a very descriptive name but and let's do document that get element by ID and in here we want to pass in the ID of the by chart so let's just do that so let's just call this bar chart element that makes more sense uh, you can call it canvas because it's the canvas element so now we have a hold of this element i'm gonna bring this back down and scroll up a little bit and i can actually close this so that we can really see what's going on here so so now all we have to do is to just return the new chart so we have access to this because we brought in the actual uh, library I mean, we have to do an import for this. And inside of here is what we're going to build our entire um, chart. So here, let me see if I can import this. So there's no quick fix for this. Nope. So I guess this ID is not smart enough. So I'm just going to have to do it manually. Now, what I want to do to import this is to do import everything as chart from and that's supposed to come from chart js okay so okay so you can find chart js so which is good so it knows that we have this in our build path so now we can use this chart js which we're doing at the bottom and continue so now we should be good so you see we don't have this error anymore so what i want to do here is to define the type of the chart so we're going to do type and this takes a string and this is going to be bar because it's a bar chart and then we have to define the data so we're going to do data and then this data is an object so we're going to include curly braces uh, we have to define some labels so we're going to do labels oops labels and this is an array so we're going to pass in the labels that we have so remember we have 200 and we have 404 we have 400 and then we have 500 so those are our labels because that's what we're we're going to be showing as for uh, as far as the labels are concerned because um, it's supposed to reflect exact well this app is broken because we're not finished with this yet but we have to represent the 200 400 404 and 500 so let's go back and continue this so after the labels i'm gonna have to define a data set so here i'm gonna do data sets and the data set is an array and inside that array you have to pass in an object oops an object and I need to close this so we have to pass now the data which is the actual data so this data is gonna be an array okay so I'm gonna put another array here and then here I'm just gonna pass in the HTTP traces that I have as the um, data so I'm gonna do this that HTTP 200 response or traces and I get the length of this so that's gonna give me how many um, that I have for each so okay so I'm gonna do that for the 200 uh, the 404 five, uh, 400 and then 500 so let's just copy this it's gonna do it here I'm gonna do it here and one more and all I have to do is to just change this to 404 and that one to 400 and that one to 500 okay so now we have this uh, data set here and then after that we just have to pass in the colors and the width so if you remember if we go back so you put in the data label the data set we don't use this label here so we just pass in the actual data and then after that we pass in the background and the bottle width so i have some predefined colors so i'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there let's go back and then paste okay so all I'm doing here beside the actual um, labels in the data set I pass in the background color which is this and then the border color and then the border width and then another thing I forgot to do is I have to pass in this element here and then after that I have to open and close curly braces which is why we were getting this error 
So I'm gonna put this here. Okay, so now we don't have these errors anymore. So you pass in the, you create a new chart, pass in the element where the chart is gonna appear, and then you after that you put a comma, and then you put open and close curly braces to create an object. And this object is gonna you know hold the type, the data set, the label, uh, the the uh, the data, the data set, and then the colors and the uh, width of the chart. So with that alone, we should pretty much be able to see something. So let's go back and refresh. Okay, so we got nothing yet. Let's make sure I don't have an error. Okay, so it doesn't look like that I have an error. So let me finish with the options and see if we got something. So after the data, which is right here and it ends on line 133, we can pass in some, um, some options or configuration. So I'm gonna do options and this is an object, open and close curly braces. And inside here, I have to pass in the title. So I'm gonna do title and that is also an object. In here, I'm gonna pass in some parameters. So I'm gonna do display and set this to true. And then I have to pass in the text for this title. And the text is an array. So I'm gonna do last 100 uh, requests as of today's date. So I'm gonna pass in the dollar sign, open and close curly braces, and then call the date constructor in JavaScript. New date and leave that like this and then we have to pass in some legend so let's do legend this is also an object and i'm going to display well we're not passing them i'm just going to set this to false because i don't want to display the legend and one last one that i want to pass so let's do scales and that's also an object and i want the y-axis y-axis which is an array and then inside of it i'm gonna pass in an object oops an object and close and here what i want to do is to access the ticks and that's also an object and inside of here what i want to do is begin at zero okay so this is a very important setup and set it to true okay so I had to step inside of all of these options here just so I can set this begin at zero because I want my chart to begin at zero from the counting increasing. So option after the actual data, you can pass in some option, the title, we're displaying the title and we're gonna set it to this last hundred requests as of the actual date that they're looking at it. The legend, we're not gonna display the legends and then for the scale, the y-axis for the ticks, we're gonna be, begin at zero. So let's save all of this information and go back to the browser. And let's take a look. And we got nothing, and let me check. Okay, so there's no errors, and I just realized that we didn't call this method. So let's go back, let's copy this method, and let's scroll up a little bit. So what I wanna do is I wanna call this method after all of this work has been done, okay? So let's go, I can actually put it underneath here, but a better place to put it is under this right here. So let's scroll up a little bit. So whenever we call process trace, right? It's gonna pass in all the traces and then process everything, which is where it's gonna set all the different types of requests. And then after that, we can call our guy so let's call this function so this is why we didn't see anything earlier on the browser because i forgot to call the function um, but anyway so let's go back now and let's close this and now you can see the chart is here so let's close this and refresh okay so we're getting something here 200 and then we have 100 of them okay so you can see for the 200 and it starts at zero as you can see here which was very important and we have 100 200 response so it doesn't really look exactly the way that I want it to look. So let's go back and let's go back to the initialize chart and make sure I got the colors right and save this. I'm gonna open the terminal and let's go to the first one. Okay, so it compiled successfully. Let's go back and refresh. So for some reason, I'm not getting the colors. So let me go back and check. And I can already see that we didn't close this properly. So as you can see, this data set right here, it has to encapsulate all of this information right here. 
So let's go and remove these two down below, just like that, and make sure we put this down here, just like that. Okay, so the data set starts from here and it ends all the way on line 134. Okay, so it's gotta start this data object. It has to end all the way down here. So let's save this. So now if we go back to the browser, you can see now we have this 200 here. So just to make sure this is working, I'm gonna generate some 500. So let's go to localhost, localhost 9,000 9, employee, find and then pass in some random ID. And let's see what happens. Okay, so we're generating some 500 and let's go back, refresh data. You can see now we have six five hundred. Okay, so you can see that our chart is working properly. So um, you have to be careful whenever you're working with the chart JS because if you misplace a curly brace or a closing bracket, then it's gonna look weird, and you might think, "Oh, my whole thing is broken," but that's because you just didn't close, you know, a curly brace at the right place. So uh, make sure you double check on that. So we're gonna continue and do the pie chart in the next lecture. So I'll see you guys in the next one.